assalamu alaikum the today topic is about pneumonia so we will discuss about here the pneumonia infection its introduction symptoms and we will talk about the pneumonia causes and finally we will talk about treatment and management first you should know about what is pneumonia pneumonia is a lung infection which includes in respiratory tract infections so first you should know about the what organs are involved in respiratory system in the respiratory system we has mouth pharynx larynx trachea bronchioles and alveoli and this is the inflammation of the alveoli so how does this inflammation occurs so you should know about the in the inner lining of bronchioles there is cilia are presented which prevent lung from the lung irritants and the germs when cilia not work properly this is possible when someone has poor ability to cough or weak immune system or other are who has the bronchitis chronic bronchitis or acute bronchitis in this are the inflammation of inner lining of bronchitis which slow the cilia movement and can cause pneumonia so when the cilia not work properly and germs goes to the lungs so this can create the inflammation in the alveoli which produces a prolonged bacterial pus like so this produces a symptoms like chest pain cyanosis a bluish of skin face and fingers and fever with nausea vomiting or diarrhea can also be presented with extreme tiredness these are the common symptoms of pneumonia so what is the causes of pneumonia pneumonia is most commonly causes by streptococcus pneumonia which is also called as pneumococcus bacteria however pneumonia can also caused by fungi in those people who has weak immune system for example who has diabetes or hiv another cause of the pneumonia is bacteria like mycoplasma which is also called as walking pneumonia which is infected from these germs can also caused as walking pneumonia because its symptoms is commonly mild and other are pneumonia can caused by viruses parasites and other lung irritants as aspiration first you should to understand the pneumonia types so there is a many types one among them is the community acquired pneumonia that pneumonia which is transferred from one person to another person this pneumonia can have a resistance to the some antibiotics and can be severe and another type of pneumonia is hospital acquired pneumonia when patient comes with the pneumonia and if the patient is xdr so when pneumonia transfer to you so your pneumonia will be xdr because it has a more stronger bacteria which can have a more resistance to more antibiotics and another type of pneumonia is the aspiration pneumonia this is can be defined as when a fluid water or anything fluid type goes to your trachea instead of esophagus this can goes to your lungs and causes aspiration pneumonia clear how you can diagnose pneumonia for the investigation we used to do some tests like as cbc chest x-ray esr or crp in this you can diagnose an infection in the cbc you can found the low platelets count and the sign of infections and uh, chest x-ray you can easily find the infection and the mostly pneumonia infection with consultation and pleural infusion and the third one is esr or crp this can be elevated and this is also a sign of infection and the treatment and manage use antibiotics to treat pneumonia because most common pneumonia caused by streptococcus pneumonia so we can use some antibiotics and expectorant for the removing mucus from the lungs and for other type of pneumonia for example pneumonia due to fungi so so you can use the drugs for the treating underlying causes of pneumonia preventing pneumonia you can wash hands and don't do smoking this can prevent you from pneumonia like is community acquired pneumonia hospital acquired pneumonia or other type of pneumonia